Hello and welcome to part five of Ant. Wait, is it five? Six? Yeah, part six of Amnesia: The Dark Descent. We just picked up a flow cycle. Yep. And okay. Flow cycle rod and plans for the elevator. So. Um, looks like I need two more rods and other stuff. So I think we're done there. He tried to fit the pieces together, but like the sand dunes, they shattered and blah. I really like that music. Just gonna put that out there. It's so peaceful. So, I, I could just sit back and... Herbert's trunk was wrapped in rope. The lock had been broken by thieves, he assumed. He wondered if anything had been left, considering all the hands it had passed. Who's Herbert? My journal is gone. What would they want with my journal? Journal. Blocking you. It's blocking you. Dance rabbit. Bruh. Second of July, eighteen thirty nine. Okay. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition. Who's Herbert? About a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of Ab the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a lion. Oh. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. A lion? The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Who's Herbert? Tomorrow, I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Herbert the pervert. Oh, Union. Young and strong, muscly arms. Oh, oh. Okay. Picked up a crow bar. More notes. 3rd of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. Colorful. I skimmed the pages, trying to figure out what might have happened. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, we covered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused huh? me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Hey, Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Huh? I don't know, but... Really? That triggered a flashback? Daniel. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. I greatly enjoy Alexander's voice. It's so soothing and diabolical. Oh, in the box. What's this? Nothing. Huh? Nothing.
door is stuck due to a broken lock. Good thing I have brute force. How do I do this? Yep, come on. Yeah. Chunk. Oh, I'm broke. The key. Please let it be here. What key? Journal. Important key. Okay. Fourth of July. Ah, oh, Mar. God damn. It's done. The orb is assembled. Huzzah! I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Really? Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces lay spread across the table as I'd left them, but somehow I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched oh, no. the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. Oh, no. The ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Can a factory make glass that can mold and push out tar? I don't think so. What was that? What was that? Hello? Oh, the fuck! Hello? Stop being pushed out! Oh god. That was a grunt, I think. Hello? Oh, you scare me. It can open doors. Neat. So, is there anything else I need in here? Oh, wow, that just revealed itself to me. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. Flimsy glass. But my silly arms are too good for you. Blah. Professor Taylor was a second death caused by his damned curiosity. That wasn't there before. What is this? Torso. Yeah. Yeah. You. I don't remember seeing a flow wrong or a thing of it. Yeah. Don't remember seeing any components for the. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs, looking for etchings, and counted. No different kings. Nine different kings from all over Europe have been dedicated with an arm resting in their hands. Depicted. It's dark. Oh, it's dark. How many tinderboxes do I have? Eleven. Where did I get eleven? I'm in... Too then dark. This feels strange and unnatural. I want to start throwing out Walking Dead references now, but I think it's already been done. You think you know what's dark, but you don't. Or something stupid like that. Drill part one. Oh. Hello. Oh boy. What do I do? What do I do? You know, comparing this guy to the water monster, this guy isn't that terrifying. It's just kind of an annoyance. Okay, let's get my 
Sanity hit pounding. Is he still there? Hello. Hello. In the box. What is this place? Machine parts. Ooh, I need to be in there. Detour? Won't budge. What if I throw something at you? Sounded like a little girl. Equipment. Hello. I don't like the sound of that. What is this? Primary. No torches. Hello. There's nothing left. There's nothing. Gone. Oh no. Life is not worth living. Open. Oil. Tin box. Loud down a derp. Loud down new numb. Tin box. No, no. Tin box. That's a tin box in here. Oh, tin box. Would do a bad thump. Okay. Secondary. So I need pots, maybe? What's in here? I think I need a pot. Some stuff. Would you stop crying? Drew pot! No, what do I do? Like that? Can't assemble the drill yet. What? What else do I need? Um. Hmm. Whatever. Let's go in here. Hello. Is there not already in here? do I drill it with? Hello? Anybody home? Day in the box. That's a lot of brick. Alexander, I have prepared the explosives you needed for clearing the flood drain. Can't stress enough how important it is that the mixture is handled with care. Please try to tell your featherbrained servants this before you go ahead with your plans. The liquids are not by themselves explosive and should be kept separated to avoid further mishaps. I have arranged two large vats in the next room for the ingredients. All you need to do is mix the liquids and you are ready to go. Uh, grip Papa. Okay. Guess I don't need two pots. Hello. The valve has rusted shut. So. I need a hammer? Maybe? Brick? 
graphics just as good as a hammer. I am so slow with that. Wah. Breaking it, I think. Is it supposed to do that? <laughs> Found a bug. Let's see if I can get this. Oh. Rusted shut, and it's moving quite nicely. Ah, oh, crap. Um, I'm all out of time. I know, baby. You said to. If this rusted shut, then why is it spinny spin? Hey. Oh, wait, wait, maybe. Aha! Okay. I got stuff. I'll just put this over here, and that'll end with this episode. Man, 15 minutes just goes by quickly. I'll bet you this thing breaks. Nope. Partially filled pumps. Oh goody. Picked up explosive. Uh, that's not good. Anyway, that's it for this episode. If you'd like to watch more, I have annotations down below somewhere. I will see you in the next video.